for her let's be here. I was privileged in my time on the council to work with um, Chuck Ruff as Corporation Counsel, with John Farron as Corporation Counsel. I mentioned that I, I did the confirmation hearing for Bob Spagnoletti, and I don't know, didn't work with these two gentlemen, but I have come to know them um, in their positions. And what I want, I am just struck tonight by the fact that whoever comes into this job as our first elected Attorney General will have some pretty big shoes to fill and a pretty proud tradition to follow. Um, and with that in mind, I just want to say thank you to the three gentlemen here for your service. Thanks. That's very kind, and that's actually what I, I wanted to say, not uh, exactly in that regard, but to disagree with um, Phil on this one point. I hope that uh, the elected Attorney General will not think of everything that they're doing as the first time it's been done or that it sets the precedent. The District of Columbia has been very fortunate uh, over the years names that uh, Kathy mentioned of Chuck Ruff and John Payton and John Farron and Bob Spagnoletti and Peter Nichols, to have really excellent lawyers who have served in this office, and we have excellent lawyers who are serving in it now in the, uh, you know, in, on the uh, staff. So I hope that the elected Attorney General will look to that as the precedence that, uh, that an Attorney General will follow and keep up that tradition of lawyer-like activity, apolitical, non-political activity, doing things for the best interests of our citizens and of the municipality. That is what I think is uh, number one thing. And the second thing I want to say is that the new Attorney General, the elected Attorney General, is going to need some additional tools to do this job. And I urge the Council to give the Attorney General to get the kind of things that Phil is describing, which I share the notion that the elected Attorney General has to be responsive to the interests of the district, but the Attorney General, uh, whether it's uh, whoever it is, needs the tools to do the job, and that includes uh, subpoena power. The last word, Bob. I've been very privileged during the course of my career to hold some incredible positions, things that I had no right to expect, never hoped for, and really could not have imagined when I got out of law school, from the federal government, the D.C. government, the bar, and the rest. Far and away, the most gratifying and rewarding and difficult job I've held was serving as the Attorney General for the District of Columbia. But the, one, the words I want to leave you with tonight is that it is worth it. It is worth putting your name in. It is worth getting the petition signed. It is worth going out there and doing whatever you need to do to get your name out there and your ideas out there and your vision out there for what the first elected attorney general is going to be. I can't say that if it was elected at the time when I was appointed, I would have done so. I probably would not have, actually. Um, but it is unquestionably worth doing for the service that you can do to the District of Columbia, for the people that you get to work with, the privilege of working with government servants. I had, the, when I was there, we did an award ceremony on a regular basis, on you know, five years, 10 years. I had 40 years of DC government service, more than once, 40 years. And they did it through you no know, resources, no copy paper, no pencils, rats, you name it. Now that doesn't, that's not the way it is now. <laughs> or maybe he's on the mouse. The rats are on the mouse. He's, he's talking about the little ones. Yeah, it's, uh, but, it's, but it is worth it. And so as you, following up on what everyone has said about going out and encouraging people to think about it and run, the message I urge you to take to them is, it's worth it. it we're asking a lot of you to put yourself out there publicly like this. In an, an election, who knows how many people will go? It may have 20 people, it may have three, it may have one, who knows? But it is worth it at the end of the day. The job is fantastic. I want to also thank the, the law school, Shelley, all the sponsors, all of you for coming tonight, for showing just how important this office and this transition is going to be for this. You did hear him say the law school. Uh, Join me in thanking our panelists. Can I get a photo of him? Yeah. Oh, the usual. Can I get a big ball? Can you stand up there?